We're a culture that we don't like to just dip our foot into the water. Whenever we do something, we want to go all out. It's really awesome to see that there's a bust. We're the ones who helped fund that to support that child care center. Please welcome the children from Daystar. Many of the children that these daycares serve um, obviously live in underprivileged neighborhoods. Because they don't have uh, reliable transportation, many of those children stop attending. Uh, they begin to regress in their education and then ultimately they end up dropping out. B U S Cut! You know, we have a long history here at Full Beauty Brands of community outreach. The passion begins at the top, in the top leadership. When you're at one of these preschools and you see what the needs are and you're part of helping do something about it, um, you know, it's, it's contagious because it gives us a chance to see it, touch it, feel it, be involved. And uh, here we are eight years later, it's clear we have an emotional attachment. We've built playgrounds and uh, we've painted uh, entire early childhood center interiors. I will say that it's planting a seed in their lives. We, for example, have a group of people that go over to a daycare center every week, 10 months a year, and we engage with the children where we'll sit and read to them. We have an annual carnival where about four daycare centers all show up and maybe 130 to 150 children, and they have fun for a couple of hours. I dress up like Buzz Lightyear, for example. <laughs> and everybody that I tell this story to, our story, uh, say, that's just wonderful. I wish my organization did that too. Well, I've got some people that we can talk to about that because we have some champions here, some really ardent champions of this activity that uh, would probably love the opportunity to talk about it to other organizations. Any company that's maybe afraid of it, it really is simple. Like, just that very first emotional connection you make when you see a child brighten up because they see you there. You are going to find that your employees will drive it further than you could even imagine. But what we did notice uh, during these carnivals is the transportation issues. Some preschools couldn't participate, they just had nowhere to transport their kids. And uh, it broke our hearts. And so we thought, why don't we start to uh, begin to build fleets for these local preschools? And we'll build it one van at a time. And this year was our first. Daystar's already began talking about, you know, the trips they're going to make, where they're going to be taking their uh, preschoolers to on a regular basis. Um, that's what it's about. That's a sweet spot. It, it would have been easy for us to buy a used uh, bus for these children, uh, but we don't think those children deserve that. Uh, we think these children deserve high quality uh, education and these kids deserve a chance and we're here to help give them that chance. There is no question in my mind we'll be looking back uh, 10, 15 years from now and say, wow, those things that we were doing really have made a difference. And I think the sky's the limit where we can go next. I'm Chip Edgington, and here at Full Beauty Brands, we're proud to be American Graduate Champions.